Dark Claw Tunnel Mazers, Episode 1. Now, hissed Dark Claw, the Dark Moon control room sprang to life. Lights flashed, screens lit up. Somewhere on the secret space station, an awesome weapon prepared to fire. Dark Claw smiled an evil smile. <laughs> Nearby, a passing Mars spaceship came under attack. Help! Our nozzle circuits have blown! screamed the Mars captain. The ship is out of control! The small craft hurtled towards the great black hole and was never seen again. There is nothing in the known universe that stinks like Forgonzola. Dark Claw owned the biggest piece of Forgonzola ever known. He had used it to build his deadly Stonker Ray. The Stonker Ray could destroy sensitive mass Nozar systems, causing chaos for mass spaceships everywhere. Without their Nozar systems, the mass could never find their way through the endless distances of space. This was just the beginning of Dark Claw's master plan. He was determined to rid the universe of Mus for ever. First, he sent out a squadron of robot seekers to gather information on his enemy. For cats like to play with their victims first. Go, my little beauties. Find out all you can about those horrid, squirmy little creatures. One of the seekers flew across the Mus Desert towards the Tan Monastery School for Gifted Young Mus. The seeker swept up to the isolated building and hovered silently by a window. Inside, three young Mus were deep in conversation. I wish we could win the Tunnel Mazing Cup, said Hammy, the one with glasses. The first prize is going to be a huge cheddar cheese. Only one, the one with sticking up hair, sighed. Oh, if only I was born with a sense of spell, he said, then our team might win for a change. Never mind, said Chin Chi, the one with the hairband. You can't be the best at everything. The seeker flew away, but we shall stay with these three young mus. Later, at tunnel mazing practice, the games teacher, Father Doug, gave his mus pupils their instructions. Now, there are two ways out today, he explained. One exit has a cheddar cheese smell, and the other smells of red Leicester. These smells are very similar. It'll be tricky, but good practice for the finals at the end of term. The first team to come out at the cheddar cheese hole wins. Hammy squeaked. Oh, can, can, can we eat it if we win, sir? <laughs> we'll see, Father Doug smiled. Hammy was always hungry. Thirty young mass poured into the dark tunnels, sniffing like mad. They searched for the cheesy smells that would lead them to the right exit. Fwoo! Someone called out in the darkness. I can smell Tansy's feet! Our trio made a good team. Chinchy was an excellent smeller. Hammy could find food a hundred miles away. And only one had a razor sharp photographic memory. Along the way, he drew a map of all the tunnels in his head. If only he could smell as well, he'd be the world champion. There it is, said only one. Quick, he spotted the faint glow of light from the exit. They scrambled out of the hole, but Amber's team had beaten them to it. They were already outside. Amber sneered and waved the pieces of cheese. <laughs> hey, Hammy, look what we've got. Hammy was livid. 
they always win. It's so unfair, he complained. Only one's keen eyes spotted something in the far distance. What is that? he called out. It was a while before the others saw what he was pointing at. A long black car swept down the desert road towards them. It must be someone really important, said only one, or someone really famous. The car cruised through the school gates and parked out of sight. Who could it be? Find out in the next exciting instalment of Dark Claw. Click to see the next exciting episode or find out more about Dark Claw and learn how to draw the characters and amazing cat and mouse spaceships. Please like this video and make sure you are subscribed to the Storytime channel so you know when new stories are available. Why not tell your friends on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus about this channel and keep coming back for more. See you next time.